Let's review the examples for alter alternate interior angles. <laughs> Remember that alternate means on opposite sides, and interior means it's on sort of the inside of the shape. So if we think of our two parallel lines here as being the bounds of a shape, like so, then the interior side is the area between them, and alternate sides of that interior shape would be the two sides on opposite sides of our transversal. Here it says we need to find the value of x. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> um, we have 4x minus 10. And we know that 4x minus 10, since it's an alternate interior angle with 58 degrees, must be equal to 58 degrees. So we're just going to set that up like an algebra, equa algebra equation. So now we just need to solve for x. We'll first add 10 to both sides. Cancel out that 10 on the left. We'll have 4x equals 58 plus 10 is 68. And then we'll divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. That leaves us with just 1x, which is what we wanted. And 68 divided by 4. Well, 68 divided by 2 would be 34. And 34 divided by 2 would be 17. So x would be 17. And we can verify that because 4 times 17 is 68 minus 10. That's 58. And that would make our alternate interior angles equal. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, true or false, alternate interior angles are always congruent. Well, now this one, knee-jerk reaction, says, well, yeah, of course that's true. That's the definition of alternate interior angles. But recognize that that's only true if the lines are parallel. Whoa. My pen seems to think that it's more important to move things around on the screen than it is to draw on the screen lately. I'm not sure why that's doing that. All right, so if the lines are parallel, then that's true. But our statement here does not specify that. So I would say that this is false. It's close, but it's definitely not true the way it's written. Okay, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, what does X need to be in order to make A parallel to B? And X looks like this shape right here. Let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go. So in our shape right here, we know that we have alternate interior angles again. This is kind of like our first question here. We have alternate interior angles here and here. So that tells us that, let me get a better color for writing, that 3x plus 16 is equal to 5x minus 54. Now, if those two things are equal, then our alternate interior angles are equal, which would mean that A is parallel to B. So that's our goal, is to figure out what it takes to make those two angles equal. So we need to find out what X is if this statement appears true. So we'll subtract 3X from both sides. There's my pen again, moving things around. Minus 3x, minus 3x, goes away over here on the left, leaving us with 16. 16 is equal to 2x minus 54. We'll add 54 to both sides, plus 54, plus 54. So over here on the left, we get 54, 60, 70. And over here on the right, we have 2x by both sides by 2, divide by 2, and we get 35 is equal to x. So in order for a to be parallel to b, x needs to be 35 degrees. There we go.